replacing the slug drives the guide slug in the estate wine opener. <laughs> you yes, need sir. a hammer, a flathead screwdriver, and wire cutters if auger is bent. Remove the screws from the wine opener and put them in a place that you don't lose them. Can we do that? Remove the casting carefully. Perfect. I said. See how that came out like that? See how that comes out. And there we are with no auger. Or just with the auger. The, Here's the drive slug. No. Yeah, that's the drive slug, and here is the guide slug. Okay, and it looks like the lower part has the gap showing below the loop. So that means that this goes in this way. And can I just lift this and screw it into here? Seems logical to me. Let's see if we can make that work without taking everything apart unnecessarily. Doesn't want to go. Maybe I have to force it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Feels like it's pretty much moving up, but I'm not, not sure that's quite. Right. Yeah, it's it missed the hole somehow. Maybe that's what they mean when they say is it bent. So using a pair of pliers is helpful to hold the auger into place while you screw the new guide slug on. Yeah, because it doesn't want to fit through. It's not matching the uh, corkscrew shape perfectly yet. But this is so easy. Slug, where's the guide slug? Isn't that the hole in the bottom, the puka, is not the right angles? So we're going to drill out a little bit of that hole so that the auger can go through that. On that sucker, and feed the auger. Through the guide slug. <laughs> Pay close attention to the way I'm doing this so you won't do it wrong like I am. to shave the outer edge of the puka. If it don't go force it. it looks like I'm trying to just figure out where it wants to come out because it looks like it wants to come out the side of the whole darn thing. Oh, 
first here. Let's see. It looks like <laughs> it is. There you go. Let's see that helped. Because <laughs> it's not going through, it doesn't fit properly. That's right. And they're going to say my auger is bent. And I'm going to say, no, it's not bent. This is the way it came. Oh. Okay, so here. So go a big enough hole until... The auger can come through the, the little hole on the bottom then, of this device. Oh shit! I put it on upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I drilled the hole on the wrong end. Oh no. You did? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. See? But it should be symmetrical, don't you? Wouldn't you agree? It should, what goes up should go down then. Yes, it's a simple matter of geometry. <gasps> Voila! It wasn't the puka end, it was the top end. You're brilliant. Well, I'm sorry. It's just a matter of mathematics for an English major. <laughs> <laughs> Math for an English major. Ah, okay. so now. So now we align everything up the way it's supposed to you're go. You're supposed to screw it all the way up. As far as it will go. I have to hold this sucker. I think it's, that's what it said to do. Yep, yep, it did. You're right. Screw on guide slug. As far as it will go. Okay, so that would be right to oh there. Oh my gosh. Now, this piece is going the wrong way, so it needs to back up a little bit so that it's in the proper Align. direction. For the erection. <laughs> and look, I think that goes right over the hole. See that little thing there? That little thingy? See that little thingy right there? Oh my gosh. I think that holds it right in place. Okay, well move your finger so I can video. Oh my gosh, you did it. Impressive. See, I got the little Impressive. Pin going through the hole, and this guy going straight. This is lined up with this. The guide, the lever so is the open. So the trick was to drill the top end? Yeah, yeah, I just had to drill a little bit so I could get a different angle on the auger going through right. the guide so slug. So let's put it all back together and then see if it works. Get a bottle okay, of water. now here's the important part. When you close this, before you can put this on... You have to get this part way closed so that this can lay in there. Then you open it and close everything down without forcing it. <laughs> <laughs> this has to just lay down on top. Needs to fit down into the hole. There we go. This needs to just settle into the correct spot. These pieces don't want to stay in alignment. Now it's working. Okay. So once you get it back to get, I, I didn't. So now you put the pieces back together. Just set, then tighten these three screws down. Like that, nice and tight. And, and then when we put the bottle in here, we'll squeeze the neck of it to hold it in place. And then when we pull the lever, it drives the auger into the cork. And, the new and then pulls it slug. out. Congratulations. So don't follow these instructions or the thing with the dog on the other side where it says place guide slug on male portion of dog. We don't know what that means. Arf, arf. <laughs> Our method works. We now have a bottle 
Nice BR cone. BR cone. Clamp. Clamp. And release. Yay! There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. And nice job. And to release the cork. Voila. Ta-da. Very nicely done. It's the drill. The secret is the drill.